Welcome to part 2 of my unboxing video of the ASUS Transformer Book T100T. In this video I'll be looking at the software and how it performs in the T100T. And as you can maybe can see, it's very fluent. You can switch between apps with ease. And the apps that are designed for the notebook and tablet works great in the notebook mode. Word is great and all the desktop applications are good because you have the trackpad and the mouse to navigate, although the trackpad is very bad. And you can use uh, websites that has Java and you can use regular desktop websites such as Spotify, Wimp, um, Radio and all the free music sites that you have to pay if you have an ordinary Android or iPad tablet. You can also use your Slingbox if you have a Slingbox uh, without any apps as long as you use the desktop applications of uh, Chrome or Internet Explorer. However, when you want to use the tablet or the T100 as a tablet, it really doesn't work. Right now I'm uh, at the Spotify website and if I want to go to another website and I click, the keyboard doesn't automatically pop up. You have to press it every time you want to write something and you have to close it yourself as well. And if you want to visit websites and you have a full screen and you have to press escape normally to get out of the full screen in the Windows 8, you can't get out of the full screen unless you use the charms bar and go to start. I've had plenty of times where I've been watching videos online and I've entered full screen mode and I haven't been able to get out of full screen mode and I haven't been able to pause the video either. When I've pressed the screen the video has just stopped and it's a huge problem and I don't really think as a tablet, the unit works that well. Besides that, it's a 16.9 aspect, and for my taste, I like the 16.10 or the 4.3 aspects better. It's a bit difficult when you use it to uh, write something, it's a bit awkward to use, and I've been trying to watch movies and such on it. and. It's really not that good for me. The sound is great. Um, and even though it's semi low resolution screen, the screen is okay. Although it's not that bright and there is a lot of re reflection in the screen as you can probably see on the video. And right now I'm on Internet Explorer and this movie it can't stream. Earlier I could stream it, but as I said, when I got into full screen mode, it wouldn't close the full screen mode again and there's no way to get out of it without going to jumps bar and pressing start or pressing the home button. Besides that, if you use uh, so as you can see you can switch seamlessly between the applications and you can multitask by having two applications side by side and you can watch for example Netflix and although it's really not that good you could also have Netflix and YouTube on at the same time and both will work and play the mov movies without any stuttering But although the tablet is fast, I wouldn't recommend anyone in need of a tablet to buy it. If you're going to buy it, it should be mainly Shows was the new sport of 
if you want to buy it, it shouldn't be mainly as a tablet. It should be because you need of a notebook or of a netbook because the notebook function really isn't that good. And right now, for example, I can't get out of the um, full screen user video because the minimizing maximizing button is underneath underneath my um, menu bar here. So it really isn't functioning that good. And I wouldn't recommend it to anyone in need of a tablet. If you are however very fond of your old netbook, but you think it's just a tad too slow and you want a new netbook, it's great as a netbook and you can use it as a tablet, but I wouldn't recommend it if you are mainly in need of a tablet. So this was a very quick look at the transformer book T100T and if you got any questions feel free to ask me